Alright, so this is just a test recording. I um, am testing out a new microphone setup in which it's not completely garbage. So let's see if we can do this. Let's do a tutorial. Okay. To center the camera and character, move the cursor to his avatar in the upper left corner. You can also use tab to switch through units. Let's just hit tab. Boom. Um, I guess it wants me to double click him. Alright, this game uses a free camera to use the cur use the cursor keys to move the camera around. Alright. Turn the camera around, press and hold the right or the middle mouse button. The right mouse button will cause the camera to revolve around itself. The middle mouse button will cause the camera to rotate around the cursor. Okay, that's cool. Home and end can use to move up and down. And the mouse wheel is used to zoom in and out. Once you are comfortable, press N. Okay. In a few seconds the guard will come over to the door of your cell. You must engage him in head to head in combat. Perform press V. In order to strike an enemy in hand-to-hand combat, point the attack cursor at the enemy and left click. Your unit will walk over the enemy and try to strike him. You can press the mouse button several times so each hit is queued up. Okay. Enemy in sector. Please note that the game has a shifted to combat mode and the pause system SPM has been activated. Your unit does not have any orders to carry out so the game has been paused and the no orders icon has appeared in the upper right corner alongside the portrait of the unit in question. To unpause the game, order your unit to open the door while the guard just unbolted it. The unit has been run out of orders and the game has been paused. If you have any more orders to give the unit, you can order the unit to wait by pressing the spacebar. The game will continue. Be warned that your troops are waiting, enemies are acting well, not doing training, they are not. Well, not doing training, they are not. Smiley face. Right, now the guard is simply waiting for your trooper to kill him. Loco! Murder! Excellent, the guard is dead. Now search his body and take his weapons to search the body and pick something up from the ground. Press I. Inventory. Place the weapon in the hand slot, which is, I believe, this. Right click on the dead body, open the inventory, through the menu, take the cell key. Okay. Take your weapon and turn to face the door from which the first cursor appeared to. Turn around, press and hold shift, and left click in the direction you want the unit to face. And exit the room from the cells. You spotted an enemy. Note the operation of auto pause SPM. The new enemy is an event that caused the game to pause. Please note that unlike the normal orders event, the word pause is flashing. In order to continue playing, you must press spacebar. Now unpause the game. Note the change of adrenaline level. That. It is shown on the bar on the bottom left part of the screen. When this number, when under stress, the adrenaline will rise. This is some time to cool off. The adrenaline rise and fall rate depends on the trooper's experience and the situation itself. Right now, you have to shoot your enemy, but it's because it's high-level adrenaline, there is very little sense since in taking careful aim. <laughs> right now the uh, rushing snapshots are probably not the best choice. Shooting from the hip takes less time. High adrenaline levels and the proximity of target compensate for lower accuracy. Snapshots are recommended for middle ranges. You can select the from the hip shooting mode using the firing mode selector. Point the cursor at enemy and right click. The firing mode selector allows you to switch through available firing models. The vertical bar allows shows aiming modes from the hip snapshot aimed optics etc the horizon bar this shows the firing mode itself single shot short salvos fully automatic the appropriate salvo link can be selected from the slider at the bottom of the sidebar select the firing mode uh, that <coughs> right now <coughs> I think I got him Second, the second guard is dead. As soon as there are no enemies left in the sector, the game will shift to real-time mode. The absence of orders will not cause the game to pause. Now inspect the guard's body, and don't forget to pick up the second key. Well, he's got one of those. Hmm. It's a Mac 10. Search corpse. Explore. Move body. Search corpse. He's got ammo. That's cool. Move body. Now that you've taken out the guards, you can learn some more moves. First, in the movement mode selector in the bottom right corner, there are three main postures the unit can take, lying, crouched, and standing. When crouched, you can either move in stealth mode and in short runs. When standing, the trooper can walk, run, or run fast. Order the unit to crouch. Excellent. You already know the turn around, press and hold shift, and left click. Order special moves are carried out the same way. Press and hold alt, and then left click to either side of the unit to move sideways, strafe, or backwards. Alt, backwards. Alt, sideways. Cool. Good, now order the unit to lie down. Note that in order for blah blah blah. Use the strafe command. 
I don't have enough space. Uh, look that way. Ooh. Now, there's several use of combat trucks. First order unit to stand. Shoot can quickly turn around the corner. Always press Alt and place the cursor somewhere around the corner. For instance, in the corridor. I guess we have to. Fast turn. Ooh. Exit now. If you press Alt and click back around the corner, you're gonna quickly hide. There are more tricks than that. You appear in the aim point icon. Attack cursor will appear. Click on the point, not an enemy. And you're really ready to fire. Order your trooper to wait. The wait mode will automatically cancel as soon as your unit spots an enemy. Now, in order to shoot, you must have to pull the trigger. The raise weapon icon ac activates a special moving mode. This. Press N to continue. Now return to the jail block and proceed to the cells back and free another inmate. Uh, this guy. Hey, help me out here. What are you doing here? Hey, this one was impressive. I've been talking about those guys. I'm an inmate just like yourself, and I too have to pass the test to go to Palermo. Let you help me, and I help you. Okay. Now you got two troops in your squad. You can switch between them either clicking on the units or purchasing the tab keys. Lead both troops out of the prison building. You have nothing. He's got this, so we're gonna drop it like it's hot. Drop the ammo too. And then he's gonna go, hey, I got a gun now. And then he's gonna go here, and he's gonna go here. And then dude's gonna open the door. The new enemy has been added. You can see the course by uh, press enter or click the event icon. Cancelled. Press spacebar to continue playing. Walk to the location. One of the units has run out of moves. This unit is related to select unit. Fisher is screen is black white. Do not have any orders for his unit. Press spacebar. It's ordered to wait. The game will continue. With the other hand, you want your unit busy. Press enter. Blah blah blah. Okay. Excellent. You are there now. Pick up the knife and throw it at the enemy. Pressing control will highlight any items on the ground can be picked up. The knife will be highlighted in yellow. Okay. All right. Oops. <coughs> what? Let me put that on my back and then the unit selected is running out of moves and blah blah blah. Let me just Nice. Did I get anything from him? He's got a knife. Good body. Take a look around. Find the location marked by a number two. Move him, move him. That's good? No? Okay. One of the units is running out of moves and blah blah blah. <sighs> oh, uh, and you're just selecting to give me order. Pick up the grenade and throw it at the enemy. For more information, okay. Pick up the grenade. And put it here. I'm going to put this on your shoulder. And then... Uh, v. In order to throw a grenade at the enemy, place it in your hand slot and right-click on the screen. The cursor will change to a green arrow. Now move the cursor to the target and left-click. Note, if the arrow retreats behind the cursor, you're either trying to throw a grenade farther as possible or the path to this target is blocked. The effective radius of defensive grenades is 30 meters. The offensive grenades have a radius of 10, about 10 meters. Try to be outside the killer zone when the detonator goes off. All right, so I can right click. I want to right click and throw it over here. Um. Oh, okay. And he got messed up. Oh, 
he's not dead. He will be. Give me a new grenade. Hey, hey. Oh, shoot. Get away, get away, get away. <laughs> nice. Shocked. Explorer. Body. Okay, now look for the number three. Walk closer to the location. Three? Okay. Pick up the grenade launcher. I want you to go here. Pick up that. Pick up the grenade. I guess put it in that. Yep. Uh, to get a press V. Take the grenade launcher and select the required aiming mode of the weapon trigger. Specify the target you want to shoot. Okay, so it's just like shooting a regular gun. Shoot there. He just got blowed up. Got nothing on him, so remove it. Now walk to the stairs that lead to the top of the cliff. They are located right next to the exit from the prison. You're there. Uh, simply point the cursor at any spot on the top of the cliff. Okay. I want him to stand. Stand up. Walk there. And you, other guy, come over here too. Stand up. Inventory. I want that equipped. Now take a look around and find a large sign with the number 4 net. Walk over it. On the ground there's a sniper rifle, scope, and a bipod. Open the inventory and pick up all three items. Okay. Just get that. And okay. <coughs> While you're at it, mount the additional attachments to the rifle to use that drag them onto the weapon. As soon as the additional features are successfully installed, a green asterisk will appear above the weapon. Okay. Alright. Uh, Clip those. I guess I already had a scope. Okay. We may assume a convenient position. Start printing, press N. Okay, let me just get a convenient position. Yeah, you actually have to physically arrange everything in your inventory. Let me just crouch a little bit. Alright. You have super ammo. Reload your rifle and practice your marksmanship skills. The enemy has appeared in the debris. For more information on the sniper weapons and their handling, press V. Okay. So what we're going to do is, I guess, say aim shot. So we're going to do aimed. And you can look at here. Let's see. Aiming head. Let's do that. So we're going to BOOM headshot. <laughs> Dead. Training is over. In order to go through sniper training one more time, press N to finish training, press escape, and select new game from the menu. I want to do sniper training again. I'm going to shoot him in the leg. Shoot him. Boom. Another dead guy. That's cool. Alright, well, let's go back to the actual game.